Now, it's time for tonight's UPMC Game Changing Play of the Day. All right, the UPMC Game Changing Play of the Day would have to be Nick Chubb. Cleveland, 88 yards, touchdown run. Ravens had just got a close to Cle uh, Cleveland, all of a sudden 88 yards to the house, the longest run ever given up by the Ravens defense. That's our game changing play of the day. Speaking of ground games, so uh, Colin, yes, James Conner has got to start putting up and they as a team need to start running the way they're supposed to for this offense to take pressure off the quarterback. They're averaging 64 yards a game. Tell me about James Conner, your expectations tomorrow against a team that's the worst in the NFL in stopping the run. Well, my expectation is to stick with the run a little bit, but also utilize Jalen Samuels some. Well, what happened to Jalen Samuels? Why can't he get a couple touches and throw him a swing pass here, let him run the ball uh, on the outside and the inside a little bit here? Uh, they do have to get the run going, but it's not a, it's not a kind of a one-headed monster here. The problem is with James Conner, when he's not going, it's okay to go to someone else. I don't understand why they haven't done that. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. Samuels, I, I, you know, well, look what he did against New England. Right. The one time he really had a lot of chances last year. He has a nose for the end zone, too. I love seeing him catch passes out in space. I've been very disappointed in Connor this year. I don't know how healthy he is if he's hurt. Doesn't look like the same guy. Doesn't look nearly as decisive to me. And those fumbles are killers. That's three major fumbles that have contributed to three defeats. And that's in a season and a quarter, basically. Got to be better than that. I don't disagree with any of that. I have one other point to make on it. I'd like to see them run more of maybe an eye formation quarterback under center let the running back get going instead of all these shotgun draws which maybe works with Ben Roethlisberger as your quarterback with Mason Rudolph no and I would hope that Randy Feekner changes the offense a little bit whether it's Samuels whether it's Connor whether it's Benny Snell I don't care who it is but some different designed runs they've gotten too same with that stuff all right one minute for this segment left so Ron I'm gonna start with you and that is once again, you're going to see two good tight ends who can kill the Steelers. They've had problems stopping people over the middle all season long. And Devin Bush is in that group. He, you know, last week, 11 tackles. I thought it was a highly overrated 11 tackles. Your take on him and what they got to do. There. Well, I mean, I think we all had incredible expectations for him when they traded up so high uh, to get him. And they had no hesitation to say, go ahead and have these expectations. I'm not ready to write the kid off. I think he's still learning. But uh, I think they miss Vince Williams inside against the run. Bush is still struggling to cover the pass to the tight end down the middle, which was really the reason he was brought in here. I don't think it's all on him. He's still learning, but first three games, disappointing to me. I think Devin Bush is going to be very, very good. He's going to continue to grow. He's going to be, I think he'll end up being a Pro Bowl type player, but the one thing that he's never going to be able to do is grow. Like, his height is his height, and I think the one deficiency he's always going to have in his career is a, a ball that's thrown high and to a tight end, especially across the middle, and it's going to continue to be his Achilles heel throughout his career. I don't know what you guys are worrying about. Tyler Eifert's not even playing this week anyway. I don't the big deal is, but no, I, I don't worry about Devin Bush. He's a couple games into his NFL career. I think he'll be just fine. I would like to see him a little bit, not more active, but completing more plays and actually be involved in stuff. But a uh, couple games in, it's not my biggest concern with the Steelers. All right, when we come back, we're going to switch gears because hockey season is upon us. And they have some injuries all of a sudden to deal with as going into it. We'll talk about the Penguins opening up this week at home against the Buffalo Sabres. That's next right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.